In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Browse Use Web UI on your MacBook or Mac. Uh, I'm using Mac M2, this is silicon based Mac. So, I'll be showing you step by step how you can do it. So, first of all, you need to go to the repository and you there is an instruction to follow. We'll be following this guideline. So, open your terminal and then first step is to clone this web UI in this git directory. So, just copy it and paste it here. And one more thing to remember before you start everything, you need to download Python on your browser. So, if you don't have Python, just uh, search for Python and download the latest version of this Python. Go to their website and you can download it just from here. So, if you're using Mac OS, just download it and install it. That's it. So, now we'll just uh, use the terminal. So, just uh, git colon this. So, I already have this one. You can see I already existed. So, it's, it's the same for me. You can just uh, install it, then use the CD web UI. We will go inside the web UI directory. And that's it. Now, what we'll do, we will use this uv for managementing uh, managing our python environment we'll be creating some virtual environment here to download this uv environment management tool you need to click on this link and it will come to this page once you inside this page you need to install this uv with our this official standard installation just copy it and paste it just right here and it will install it all the necessary tools that necessary as you can see it's downloading the latest version and you can see successfully installed now what we need to do we need to create a virtual environment inside our this python or this pc but we will be using 3.11 version of the python so just copy this prompt and paste it here so it will create a virtual environment here and to activate this you can see activate with source.env.active so i'm just copying this this text from here uh, you can see this same prompt is also given here so i'm just going to paste it here and click next so now we can see our virtual machine have been activated you can see web ui so now what we need to do we need to install the ubpp install all the requirements text so i'm just going to copy it and again paste it here so you can see it's installing everything so everything is successfully installed now we are going to install the playwright this one so just paste it here successfully installed now we need to copy our dot env dot example file to dot env so we can add the api key to our uh, open ai api or other api with gemini api we can use this dot env file to save the api keys so just copy this link and uh, paste it here so as you can see it's not working because i use the windows version because we are using mac we need to use this cp.env this one okay so successfully copied this one now what we need to do we need to save the api key to on our env file so to open this directory that we are using we will be using uh, open open then space dot and then click enter you will open this folder now you need to use any kind of code editor to run this here in for example i am going to use visual studio code so this is my visual studio code and this is the env folder that we are going to save so if you don't have don't have this folder open what you can do just uh, uh, close this folder and this is our code editor and this is the folder where is the env file just select this web ui folder and drag it on this it will automatically open that folder now we have the env file here you need to paste your api key to connect with the open ai or google api key any api key you want so i'm going to use open ai i'm going to create a open ai api key so create a new api key test three copy the api key now go to our tools paste the api key here that's it now save it okay our uh, processing done from here now what we are going to do we will be uh, go back to our terminal 
our everything setup is completed with one API key that we are going to use to, uh, for OpenAI. Now we are going to the last step and running the web UI. So just click on this one. You can change the port number if you want. I'm just using the default one and paste it and press enter. And one more thing to remember that uh, if you are running this on your PC for the first time, you need to install pip install browser use because this is the browser that we are going to use. So before installing this, uh, try to install the browser use. For the first time, it will take some time. Uh, on the next time, it will not take uh, this long. So now, as you can see, our uh, this portal is successfully running on a local localhost and this is the url so just copy the url and you can open it inside any browser so just opening it that's it this is our browser use web ui from here you can do all kind of automation so let me show you an example so in this section you can run the agent just go here and uh, you can put that uh, instruction that you want to do so for example i am going to um, open uh, open google.com and search for Kamrul Hassan that's it so it is a simple instruction I'm just going to click on submit task so it will uh, send response to our OpenAI API key and uh, it will open a browser and perform this task so as you can see our tasks have been submitted now it, it will opening this chromium browser so as you can see this is our browser just open and it will automatically do everything you you will search for it you will scan the screen you can see uh, it will automatically do so there is a lot of possibilities you can do with this browser on your pc local hosting there is also a web version they sell so you can see they write it and they're going to search it and no matter what language this browser use it's doing fine so this is the way how you can install this browser use browser on your local host i hope you find this video helpful and this was the step by step tutorial i was facing some problem and then i i think that i will share this tutorial so you guys can get help the problem i was facing that i was not installing this one so this is very important you need to install this one then follow all the steps and you will be able to run this successfully so thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.